It's a really nice morning again. Early morning, haven't even had breakfast yet, but I wanted to come out, see how the horses are doing. It's super cold, but really, I mean, look at this. It is a bright, beautiful day. We got snow on the ground. Look, you can see here, yesterday it was sunny, so half of this pile is defrosted and the other side, well, it's not really defrosted. I mean, it's solid. Yeah, it doesn't move. So, I wanted to get on with uh, fixing up a few uh, muddy spots, but there's no more mud left. It's frozen solid. So, um, yeah, just another day checking things out. We'll probably talk about a few things today. Um, got lots to do. Frozen water to deal with. We've only got a couple of days of freezing, so there's really not a, a big worry there, a, a big sort of deal to deal with. Anyhow, um, yeah, everybody's looking pretty good here. Everybody's still got a bit of food left. There's Luke hanging out in the corner waiting for me to say hello. He's out. Grab him some food. Hi, buddy. Oh, you're warm. <laughs> Toasty warm for my fingers. Yeah, who's a good horse today? Anyhow, just another day of petting horses and cleaning up poopsicles. Any horse person around knows what it's like to deal with horses in the wintertime. <clears throat> if there's no snow and it's just cold, you've got these piles of poopsicles everywhere. And uh, I mean, I'm not kidding, they are solid. And they're usually solid to the ground too, because they, they land there. You know? And then, I know this is so interesting. You get these poopsicles that live here and you can't get them out because when they land, they melt the ground a little. Horse person's problem. <clears throat> and then they just fuse to the ground, so. What are you guys doing? These guys have lots of food left, I give them. Piles to eat. So, lots left still. Still good. Oh, Roni's come to say hello. What's going on, man? <laughs> yeah. You look good back lid, buddy. Looking sharp. I don't know what you did to your eyeball right here. I think you scratched it on something. Oh well, you still seem to be doing okay. Hey, how's it going? He's doing pretty good. He wants out. I'll let you up. It's frozen out there though. The arena's frozen. I mean, it's hard as a rock. So. Or at least half of it is. This is the part that the sun has got to is uh, less frozen than say back there. You know, way back there. Still kind of icy and snowy and stuff. This stuff is just kind of hard. So it's good for your horse's hooves, to be honest. Get out on stuff like that, anyways. It's not too bad, but they get out there and they sort of get themselves a little more toughened up. <clears throat> right? Hey. <laughs> Honestly, your eyes are so good. Look at that cool eyeball. Whoa. It's real still for me. Thanks, man. Oh, we moved. Oh, that's so neat. Ah, well. Says I'm all done. Me too. I'm gonna uh, have a little breakfast, I think. Get on with the day. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> oh man. You know, I gotta admit that footage that I got a little earlier of Macaroni's eye got me thinking. And uh, I liked it so much that I thought, well, 
heck, why don't I get a little bit more footage? And I thought, well, I guess I could show that to everybody. And then I thought, well, what's gonna go with that? I could put some music, but actually, I have a better idea. I'm going to give you guys five quick facts about horses' eyes that maybe you did or didn't know. So, start with number one. Number one is that horses are not number one in the mammal world of size of eyes. Uh, I think I've heard that quite a few times that horses have the biggest eyes out there. They don't. Um, they're very big. They're about two inches or so in diameter. Um, just under the size of eyes of a moose. So that makes horses second, not first, second uh, in their size of eyes, how big they are. The other really cool thing about horses, like most prey animals, is that they have what's called um, binocular and monocular vision. Meaning that they look at things with just one eye, sometimes, and uh, their other eye is sort of facing somewhere else. And then sometimes they'll look at things with both eyes. Now there's a lot of studies going on about how exactly they focus and they move their head up and down or if they have like what we have where we can focus based on where we are, uh, how far apart our eyes kind of go and uh, the muscles that are in our eyes that allow us to focus and they think that the horses have those as well and not just their head moving up and down to change the angle of their eyes based on what they're trying to look at. So that's up in the air but very interesting all the same. The third fact about horses is that they have amazing night vision. So if, um, and I covered this a little bit in another video about nighttime checkup, when you're turning on your lights um, at nighttime, and if it's really dark, or just mildly dark even, and you leave your lights on, when you turn them off, it takes them a while to adjust. So when you turn your lights on, you kind of do it with um, care about whether or not they are going to uh, be blind for the next 20 minutes or so. And so uh, very, very amazing night vision. And you can see this in the fact that their back of their eye actually reflects white usually. If you sort of shine a flashlight and stuff, um, that reflecting, reflective coating on the back of their eye allows them to uh, have much better night vision than we would ever have. So very, very cool stuff. Okay, the fourth thing that I will mention uh, about horse eyes is that uh, they see in hues of uh, blue and green. <clears throat> so for example, actually, uh, this grass here, not so green. I'm not sure if it's showing up well on camera, but there'll be parts of it that are green, parts of it that are yellow. Um, horses, Horses can see that stuff really, really well. Um, their, their blues and greens, their hues, the hues in their eyes are great. The reds, not so much. So they're not, they don't have black and white vision. They have, um, I can't remember the word for it, but there's a, a different word for that they see in hues. Sort of like, um, like colorblind people sort of have, uh, where they have a hard time figuring out the um, difference between red and green. Um, horses sort of have something along those lines. So when they're looking for food, you know, they see the really, really green stuff, but they might avoid the yellow stuff a little bit more because it's not as bright and it's not as rich in their vision. So it's a survival thing. All right, the fifth thing that I'll mention about eyes of horses that you probably already know if you've been around horses at all, is that they can see around their body almost 360 degrees. There are just mainly two spots that they can't see and uh, the first one, unless they move their head, if they're looking straight ahead, they can't see what's directly behind them, and they also can't see what's directly below them. Um, horses also have sort of a difficult time seeing upwards. 
and uh, but that's a different thing. But for the amount of area that they can see around them, uh, it's almost 360 degrees, which is why if you stand behind a horse and you stand so you can't see their eyes, well, they can't see you, but you'll see them. They'll move their head just slightly. They'll just pick an eye to look at you and that's when they're using their monocular vision. And if you are probably gonna pose some kind of threat, they'll probably use their binocular vision to figure out exactly where you are. And then they'll use their monocular, one to watch you, one to see where the escape is. So there you go. A few quick facts about uh, horses' eyes that maybe you didn't know, maybe you did. Mm, hopefully that's interesting. Thanks for watching today. I'll see you guys again pretty soon. I'm just heading to the back here. Um, real quick thing about uh, ice on, uh, on horses' water. There aren't any horses back here, but uh, I want to use this as a demonstration because uh, the water's frozen. No horses back here to break it up. I'm not really back here to break it up, but I wanted to show a technique that I use um, where I use a, a rake, a clean rake, and I'm sure other people do this too, but you know, maybe it's just an idea that somebody hasn't thought about. Instead of using your hands to get the ice off of the water, um, you just use a rake, but you gotta break up the ice first. And I think probably just about every time I sort of do this, and this might just sort of apply to the inner nerd inside of me or something like that. But uh, if you've ever seen Lord of the Rings, where Gandalf stands at, at his big bridge and he's trying to keep that big fiery creature, whatever the heck he was, away, and he does this thing with his, with his staff. Well, I'll show you. You know, <laughs> they just scoop out the ice. Manageable sizes. Done deal. It's that easy. I guess I better get my GoPro out. Yeah. Whew. It's cold. Cleaning out the waters with, uh, with a rake makes it easy again. Make sure the rake's clean. I'm at full of poo or mud or, you know, the idea is to keep the horse's water clean, healthy. Anyway, something fun. Sometimes you just gotta have a little bit of fun in your day. Whatever it's worth. Alright, continuing on. <laughs>